everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys how to get volume to your hair using a flat iron because most people have a flat iron already so it's a pretty easy tool to learn how to use to get volume to your hair if it's just looking limp or if it's second day hair and you are too lazy or you don't have the time to wash it and you just want to give it a little bit of oomph for the day. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Now I washed my hair yesterday and I slept with it in a low ponytail. That's why it kind of has a crank like going like right here but we'll take care of that. We'll flat iron it out and make this really quick. But this is a pretty quick fix to give your um, crown some volume back here without teasing it or using a ton of hairspray or doing anything really complicated. It's a pretty simple move. I haven't done anything to my hair today. There's no product in it or anything. I barely even brushed it. So um, we're really just kind of starting from scratch. So I'm going to put half of my hair up with a clip. And then I'm just going to straighten these bottom layers. Um, I do have natural curl in my hair, so especially um, the part that was kind of put up in the ponytail, like this part still was a little damp when I put it up, so it's kind of crinkly. And I'm just using my GHD. I'm just going to straighten my hair. And I'm kind of like pushing it outwards as I go. Like I'm kind of twisting my iron a little bit, like starting flat and then kind of twisting it just to kind of give it a little bit, just a little bit of lift, kind of lift it away from the scalp a little bit do that. My hair was already kind of straight, so it's going to be real quick for me, but this is a perfect fix for people who don't have a ton of time or don't really like spending a ton of time on their hair. So once you have the bottom layers pretty straight, and again, I'm not doing it perfect right now. I don't want it like really super sleek, but if you do, you could always use like a straightening balm in your hair when it's still wet or something like that, some sort of serum to make it a little bit straighter and silkier. Um, but I just want to do this like really quick, show you guys a quick fix, especially in the mornings. Cause this is a great like school tip too, because um, when you're like getting ready for school in the mornings, if you're in night shower, you don't want to spend a whole time, a whole lot of time on your hair in the mornings. So. Um, also, okay, before I get started on my crown, I want to give my blow dry tips for volume. So what I do is when I'm drying my hair, the bottom layers, I just do like whatever. Keep the crown area pulled up while I'm doing my hair and then I do it separately. I dry this side of my part this way, so I blow it this way so that when it lies this way, it has like some lift. I do the same with this side, I blow it this way so that it has lift. And then the crown, I take just the crown and I blow it straight up like this. Um, from behind and that really helps give it lift just from the beginning without doing anything to it That's really the quickest way um, to get some lift second tip. I learned this from a hairdresser It's such an easy tip. You would think everyone would know it, but I didn't know it So I'm gonna share it with you guys if you have a little comb like this um, So your part my part right now is really crooked because this is my natural part I didn't like do it when it was wet like I was supposed to but basically I learned that if your natural part is really long like mine is my natural part starts here and goes all the way to about here literally like the back of my head um, if I don't do anything to my hair it will naturally fall all the way back to back here now that won't give you much volume because this crown section is where all your volume is this is where most of your volume is that's the where you want to pump it up the most and so if your part is making it fall to the sides on both sides all the way back you're not going to have a crown to work with your crown is going to be way back on the back of your head and that's not going to work so People that don't have a very long natural part are very lucky. He taught me a trick with a comb, which is kind of cool, which shows you where your part should stop. It's pretty foolproof, which is cool. So if you have a little comb like this, or anything, I guess, a pencil, if you don't have a comb, put it up against your head, pressed up against your forehead, and going up at an angle. And where the comb starts to lift off of your head, put your finger there, and that's where your part should stop. So that's right there for me. It's about three inches back. And from that point, all of your hair, that might not be right. Wait, hang on. Okay, about right there. From that point, all of your hair should start being pushed back. Your part should end right there. Your part should only be, you know, that long, depending on, like, the shape of your head and stuff. So you can do that to your own head and figure it out. My part does not naturally fall that way, so I have to manipulate it. I have to use hairspray and I have to dry it that way, which I didn't last night, which I should have, but I didn't realize I was going to be filming this video where I would have. That's a really, really cool tip that shows you where your part should, um end, which is kind of cool. The important layer for volume is the very top layer, the crown. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a section at my crown, straighten it straight up, 
kind of pulling it forward as I go and then pulling it back. And immediately you're gonna get that lift back there because you're straightening it and adding heat to it, kind of bending the hairs that way so that it falls back and lifts a little bit away from your scalp. You're gonna do this all over the entire edge of your part. And really like, if you were really in a hurry, you could just do this top layer, leave your bottom layers the way they are and just kind of concentrate on the top. So again, lifting it straight up, kind of pulling it away from the way it's gonna lie and then dropping it. So for the side layers, you're really gonna be pulling the hair back as you straighten it. So instead of straightening it down to the side like you normally would, you're just gonna take it and you're gonna pull it back. For even more added volume, you can add a little bit of volumizing hairspray. This is Big Sexy Hair What a Tease Back Comb in a Bottle. This is just a volumizing hairspray. You're not supposed to shake it. It says so on the can. I don't know why. So if you just lift up your crown, you can spray it a little bit underneath and kind of like rub it into your hair. And you're going to brush your hair down so it like looks flat. But for now, you're just trying to get the volume back there. And I do not have natural voluminous hair at all, especially at my crown because of my natural part. So spray it. Pick it up underneath. Kind of rub it into your hair. That's going to give it hold as well back there. You're just going to finger comb um, everything through. Make sure that your hair is not like looking like you've been really messing with it and that your crown still has volume. You can pump it up if you want kind of with your fingers and yeah and then that's it. So your hair is lifted. It doesn't look very limp. It doesn't look like it's second day hair. It looks fresh and straight really quick, especially if you don't want to use products. If you just want to use your flat iron on just the crown, it's really quick and you can run out the door. So I hope this was helpful to everyone and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.